Foreign Minister emphatically stated that, if Malaysia takes control of the Sabah by sending its troops in an attempt to claim ownership of the Sabah, then the Philippines is ready to fight by sending its best troops to fight the Malaysian troops. The tweet received no appreciation from the masses, especially Malaysian Foreign Minister Hisham Mudan Hussein who announced on Twitter that he would summon the Philippine ambassador on Monday in response to his Loxin tweet. This is an irresponsible statement that affects bilateral relations, said Hisham Mudan. Sabah is, and will always be, part of Malaysia. No country can tell others what can and cannot be said about what it considers its own, he said on Twitter. I summoned the Malaysian ambassador. For more than six decades, Sabah has been the subject of debate between the two countries. Explaining his statement, Loxin explained by saying that he did not ask China to retract his statement regarding the Philippine Arbitration Award over its waters in the South China Sea. It's free to say what it wants while we say and do what needs to be done. That applies to Sabah, he said. Back in 1878, the sultans of the state of Sulu, which ruled Sabah signed a treaty whereby they ceded the territory over to British colonizers. However, the Philippines argues that the deal is a lease, and not a full handover of the territory to them. After World War II, the country of Borneo fell under British control and joined the Malaysian Federation in 1963. While the debate over claims to Sabah has been going on for decades, it took place in 2013 when hundreds of Filipinos claimed sovereignty claiming to be descendants of the Sulu Kingdom.